Part of the president's campaign promise was to continue the flagship program of the previous administration, but to build better and more. Thus, the NETA board spearheaded by the chief executive approved 194 infrastructure projects, which government believes will certainly make lives better for Filipinos by for providing quality jobs to many. Mark Patalco has more. The National Economic and Development Authority Board, chaired by President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., has approved 9 trillion peso worth of infrastructure flagship projects under the administration's Build Better More program. According to NEDA Secretary Arsenio Balisacan, the new list of IFPs include a total of 194 projects, majority of which involve physical connectivity, irrigation, water supply, and flood management. The list also includes projects in digital connectivity, health, power and energy, agriculture, and other infrastructure. 123 of the projects were new ones, including the Panay Railway Project, Mindanao Railway Project 3, North Long Hole Railway, San Mateo Railway, UPPGH Diliman Project, Naia Rehabilitation Project, Ilocos Sur Trans Basin Project, and the Metro Cebu Expressway. Balisakan said the new IFPs will create more high-quality and resilient jobs and will allow the government to meet the country's poverty reduction goals for the medium term. We will connect and integrate markets to enable access to more opportunities for local industries, enhance the product productivity of our young and vibrant labor force, and create safer infrastructure for future generations. The Socio-Economic Planning Secretary added the projects will be financed through different forms such as ODA, general appropriations, and the public-private partnership. To ensure the quality and timeliness of project execution, the NEDA board designated NEDA as the lead agency that will monitor the implementation of the IFPs, while President Marcos Jr. directed the Anti-Red Tape Authority to ensure that the issuance of permits and licenses for the infrastructure projects will be expedited. In the uh, discussions this morning uh, with the President, we actually uh, presented uh, uh, those issues, the potential risk uh, to delays, uh, uh, and uh, uh, we have identified uh, measures that uh, we will need to put in place to ensure that uh, those delays uh, uh, will be minimized. Meanwhile, the NEDA board also approved the proposed amendments to the 2013 NEDA Joint Venture Guidelines. The amendments aim to enhance competition for projects under joint ventures, ensure better performance of private sector participants, and improve check and balances to ensure that the project is technically and financially sound. Balisakan asserted the importance of the approval of the new IFP list and the amendments to the NEDA Joint Venture Guidelines as the government promotes the Philippines as a prime investment destination in the region. Mark Fetalco for the nation.